Hi, this is a video for FT991 owners who wish to transmit outside of the pre-programmed frequencies. Now for stateside use there is uh, um, a link that can be fitted uh, to give Mars frequencies and things like this but uh, it's a devil of a job to get at it and most people don't want to completely dissemble their rig. You have to take the top and bottom cover off then remove the front panel. There's a screen front panel behind that which you have to remove and then there's cables to unplug uh, before you can get at the uh, jumpers. But this is a, a method which is very simple to do. Uh, opens the rig on all frequencies uh, both uh, VHF, UHF and HF and uh, doesn't require a single screw to be removed from the cabinet and uh, therefore does not risk invalidating any guarantees. Now as you can see here the uh, radio is set to 145 decimal 999 megahertz which means if I go to transmit put the mic here we get a, a continuous steady light which is the uh, transmit light and the rig's quite happy but if I go 1kc higher do the same thing again it is a flashing light which indicates it's not transmitting and it's out of band now in the UK here we have an NOV, a notice of variation, which allows you to transmit between 146 and 147. And of course the FT991 won't let you do it. So I'll put it on a frequency of 146.9. I already have a handheld uh, which is uh, set to this frequency. And if I transmit with this, then you can see the red transmit light on the radio and the green transmit light on the receiver. And it's fine. But of course it won't transmit. If I press the transmit button, it won't play. So, what we're going to do is actually put it into service mode. When it's in the service mode, it will transmit on every frequency it's capable of transmitting on, which is 1.8 uh, to 55.999 MHz, 137 to 163.999, and 420 to 469.999. So that should uh, cater for all purposes. Uh, it covers the Mars frequencies on HF, even the Alaskan emergency frequency, all the 5 meg uh, channels, anything else you can think of that's legal to transmit on uh, in Europe or wherever else you're using the rig. So how do we go about it? it these are the three key buttons. The fast button the A stroke B and the A equals B buttons. What we're going to do is switch the radio off first of all but before you do that set it up to the frequency, the mode, the power and everything else that you want to do before uh, we do this change because you won't be able to alter it afterwards. So you switch the radio off then you press the fast A, B and A equals B buttons simultaneously which is not the easiest thing to do and just making sure they're pressed and switch it on and you then have the menu which is the service menu now word of warning here, these are the adjustments that are the basic operating parameters of the radio. You do not want to mess with these at all. 
All you need to do, as you can see, the blue highlight on there is on channel 1. And that's where you want it. On channel 1, which it means your meter is showing battery voltage or power supply voltage. Put that there and uh, you're in fairly safe territory and no account alter the clarifier on any of these settings or you'll mess, uh, mess up the basic settings of the radio. Right, so now as you can see it's come up on 14205 which of course we don't want but we have previously set it on uh, 146900 so uh, we just multiple press the uh, band button until we stomp around to it there we go 146.9 so it's still receiving ok on that channel ok but now it will transmit and I press the uh, press to talk voila there we go there's the Oops, we're even getting feedback. There we go. It's a steady red light. One, two, three, four, five. And that is all there is to it. Do the same procedure on all the other bands. Set up the frequency that you want. Uh, when you change to the service mode, it probably won't come up on that same frequency. You just press the band button until you find it, because it will be there and uh, then you can transmit so this will now transmit quite happily on 146 and 900 and to get back to normal to get out of the mode couldn't be simpler the menu setup button here just press it once and it goes back into reset and then comes up with all the normal display and now of course we're back to normal where it won't transmit on 146.9 now it is flashing away so that is all there is to it um, admittedly you can't use all the controls that you can under normal operation but you set them up beforehand but at least you can use it on these frequencies quite happily and uh, can use it to split on, on all the modes uh, just as, as per normal but you just can't adjust them in situ sort of thing. So there we go, the FT991 um, extended frequency transmit range.